Hello everyone, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I'm the Black Shadow, and I am hoping to God that this video will be a bit easier to work with than the last one did, and taking two days just to do the video. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, in the last video we uh, eventually uh, managed to uh, complete the entire uh, Choco Forest side quest, folks, uh, to which we did get hold of the Chikabo card. There it is. Uh, and we will be uh, doing um, some of that in a short bit, folks, because there's been a lot of card games to play. Um, but first, um, something I need to uh, mention, and you might wonder what the hell I'm doing back in the training centre. Uh, many videos ago, uh, back, I believe back in the moment when we found out about um, Sid and Dia being together, uh, one of my uh, one of my subscribers, was it eight? Aid Metal, I think it was, um, uh, asked me if I went and got the Leviathan card, and I said to him, well, yeah, pretty sure I have, and then I wasn't so sure. Then I looked, found I didn't have the Leviathan card, um, and then was thinking, oh, crap, and, uh, and uh, well, uh, now we've actually got a card video going on. I figured I'd actually get hold of that card while we're here, um, as well as we're going to have a crack as well at trying to take a Deer's card again, um, though that could prove very interesting. Uh, but yes, we do need to get hold of Ivan's card, which is why we're in the training centre. Because I thought either Kisus or Zoo had it. That is wrong. Uh, turns out it is the Joker um, who does uh, have that card. So we're going to challenge him to hopefully get hold of that card. It shouldn't be so bad, at least we've only got an uh, open to worry about. Just the rules we like. And there he is, playing it straight off the bat, and he's not got the best of hands otherwise, it must be said. Now, all we know about the Joker is that he is a very, very unorthodox player. One of the most unorthodox players I've ever seen. Uh, we can... No, play that. He does play in some very strange ways, but uh, apparently it works for him. I could play that. And I've got no way because we've played Scythe now. I can't get a. Uh... Oh no, I could get a. Uh... No, I can get it back actually, even if he takes it. No, he doesn't though. Do. Well, st stop putting up a fight now. It is unnecessary. Nope, nope, there we go, we got there in the end. And, well, it's a pretty easy victory. I, I don't know how I managed to miss it uh, when we came through here. I really don't know how I missed it, but apparently I did. But there's the Leviathan card. Lovely. Uh, and I can't remember what that mod did to me. Uh, yeah, I'm um, still getting the uh, the long loading times. Although I'm using uh, King Strikers PS2, and it is helping certainly make this run a lot easier. I think the disc is still a little bit on the dodgier side, and it's still getting some long loading times after card games and battles, which kind of sucks. Oh, uh, this long this this loading business is gonna just annoy me. I knew it would do this. I knew I wouldn't be able to sort this out so far. Bloody typical. Uh, just so you know, folks, um, well, we've got a few things I've been learnt, actually, uh, recently. Uh, Tommy just learnt Boots, so I'm probably going to have him on uh, Familiar next. Uh, he's on uh, with Irvine, by the way. Uh, Ifrit's learnt all the summer magics now, so he's just on the, the HP. He's not a whole lot else for him to do. Uh, I thought I took him off that. My bad. We shall give him status attacks. We don't have many status attacks. And they can be quite useful sometimes. And that's, uh, that's about right. Um, uh, where's, um... Where's, uh... Leviathan's card mod into? Three docs codes. I cannot for the life of me think what they are. Oh, I'll get back to you on that one another day. Because I remember. Oh, and something else as well I've done. 
Um, is, uh, well, I haven't decided to do the luck, who give the, uh, or what to do the luck junction scroll yet. I'm keeping that for now. Oh, I forgot to give that out as well. I need other proof of some of these are. <laughs> um, but, uh, I did use the, uh, last, uh, speed junction scroll. And what I've done is I've given that, um, some school can use it. Uh, actually, Ket uh, not Ketsuko, uh, Carmuncle actually has the uh, the uh, extra speed junctures. They've all got speed junctures now, which is really nice. Certainly helping uh, that part of it out. So they've all got the... Uh, all going pretty quickly in battle, which is, you know, pretty useful. Uh, some of the stats which are still pretty good. Um, score we're a heck of a lot higher than everyone else just because he's so over-level compared. Like, it's really strange. When I played this... Um, when, I, when, I, when I last played this game, this never happened. At least I don't remember it happening. sure why it's, it's doing this stuff. I mean, I, I know it's, it's easy enough for me to just edit it out of, um, no, of the video so you don't see any of it, but I mean, it, it is making them like, unnecessarily long and it, it, it's really strange. I don't know what's causing it. Really strange, but never mind. Um, also, by the way, folks, just as a quick note for you, uh, high tier T Rexels, not a lot of fun. Uh, they start countering magic attacks with this sort of biting attack. Uh, that was doing about a thousand points of damage a hit. Not fun. Um, so, uh, but you can still blind them, luckily enough. And uh, if you get like, like something like your magic cast are doing it at this point, or even probably your support class should be able to probably, probably any of them could really do it, is uh, hit them with that, blind them. So that when they do counter, uh, they won't be able to hit you. Because that really hurts. Or you can just stick to your physical attacks, which um, for something like school isn't a problem. Um, but I would certainly advise just cast Blind on him. It makes life so, so much easier. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, as well. Oh, uh, forgot. Uh, Brothers, uh, the Brothers learned Elemental Attack, didn't they? Quickly do that while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, took some damage there. Uh, yeah, the brothers learnt elemental attack, so I shall get them. Not worried about the HP um, junctions. Ooh, actually saying that, I'm not worried about them yet. Now, uh, now I tell you, well, we will do them. Uh, we'll get them done. Um, we, won't, we won't really need them until probably the next disc, but I suppose it never hurts to get them done now, um, so we don't have to worry. I'm not exactly summoning them admittedly all that often, but I don't necessarily need to. Alright, so now we've, uh, we've got hold of the Leviathan card, we now need to get hold of uh, Adia's card. And uh, Renault is still taking her nap. Yeah, you don't, don't interrupt the princess's nap time. Well, uh, you know, Watson's own found out about that one the hard way. Uh, but we need to go to um, Adia's place, which I also conveniently did off screen. Because uh, I'm a clever bunny like that when I want to be. Uh, we shall save the game onto that one. Yeah, I've got a couple files here. I didn't mean to use that one, kind of, but it, it, it's the way it just went. And also, you'll notice now, um, this is here. Um, this will call us for the rest of the game. Now we've done the uh, Chocobo uh, Forest side quest. Um, when when uh, Chocobo introduces you about Chocobo World, this um, comes brought up. There's nothing you can do. It's going to sit there for the rest of the game, which is going to annoy me a little bit. Never mind. Let's insert, head back to the orphanage and play a deer. This disc is going to be a right test of my patience. I mean... It hates the orphanage anyways. It absolutely despises this place. And I don't know what's the cause of any of this. I really just don't know. Hi hey dear. Could you do me a really, really big favour? Lose the first game. Give me the idea card so as to save me a lot of time and a lot of effort. 
And we do want to mix the rules so we can play with the open rules, because I've already abolished random, so... Kiros, Selfie, Irvine, Cell, Cypher, Adia! Right. Now this is where we're gonna have to try and be real clever. Now the thing is about is I can slightly manipulate what the AI does, because like I can play like uh I can play like Selfie here, for example. It would force the AI to play in there because I'd have a plus so if I used um, Cypher down there. And it'd be the same if I put Kiros down there as well, so I might... Leave that sitting there for now. Play Irvine in the other corner, just see what happens here. That would force me to play... Uh uh, Kiros there, I wouldn't be able to get hold of him though. Because he'd then play the uh, Catablinkus uh, down the bottom right. Seven, five. I'm actually telling you what, folks. No, the numbers are the wrong way around. No, I wouldn't be able to get Kiros back. I was trying to see if I could play with plus one. No. See, this is what you got. This is what you got to look at here. Now, could I? Do I want to play selfie there? It's not really worth it, moment, but I can't play much else right now. I could play Kiros up here because he's got. See, the one change is he's got absolutely no up attack. He's only got um. Well, it's, it's only really sideways here. If we play Kiros in there. Something's put, now something's up here. Something is up. He's waiting for me to play something. Now I could now play selfie in here. It looks really dodgy. I've got to make sure there's no free differences. No, no, no. I think that's a safe way to play, but then what? That's no good, because then he's only got side attacks, and I'm going to be able to, to do anything, so I need to... Do I attack? To try and get the card turn? I might have to here. Just got to really pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. Get a plus on this there. Would you get F1 down here? Six and five. No. Right, we're gonna try and be, we're gonna try and be aggressive here. So he'll play that there. Play selfie there. Yes, it worked. I'm thoroughly pleased about that. Oh, you've just got to craft it out of nowhere. Some of this, but we have a D's card, and it is a really, really good card. I might well use that. I might well use that. Yeah! Have some of that! Have some of them apples. A deer's card is ours. Lovely. Uh, let's have a uh, look at it here. Uh, there it is. It is a pretty strong card, just for the double, um, the two A's though, it just makes it invaluable. That, that, uh, we will we'll most likely be playing something like that, because we haven't got a, we don't have a card that has that sort of, um, upright sort of strength. Kisa's isn't too bad. Selfies is also pretty good for that, but also, no, but, um, Adia is certainly like a specialist for that. Really good. Uh, I don't know what exactly card mods it. Oh, the free royal crowns, that gives the uh, magic plus 60. That's not too bad. Alright, now, in case it decides to put up a fight, um, I'm just going to meet you back in uh, Balam Garden, where we're going to be... Uh, well, actually, saying that... No, we won't meet, I won't meet you back in Balam Garden. What I'm going to do now is, because we've got the uh, Chikabo card here, 
is uh, oh wherever the hell it is there it is. Now that we've got the Chicobo card, we can now move on with the uh, the Queen of Cards side quest because we've done the first two. Uh, you know, with like uh, Sacred and then getting hold of Irvine was the uh, part of the second one. Because the first card we got was Kira, the second was Irvine. So now we're ready to move on to the third card, uh, which involves giving her the Chicobo. Now I do believe that she is in Balam Town, I think. Uh, so if she is there, I'll meet you there. If she's not there, I'll meet you wherever the hell she actually is. So um, I'll see you with the Queen of Cards in a moment. Oh, I was right. Thank God for that. Right, um, so the Queen of Cards. Now, um, I'm going to be um, honest because I know when we first came over, I wasn't 100% sure of her exact mechanics as to how exactly she worked. I knew about the carpet, but like um, how to get her to move around and why she moved around and turns out the the actual um, requirements to get her to move somewhere wasn't as wasn't as precise as I actually thought it was. For her to move from one area to another, all that has to happen is a rare card must um, Ba must basically change hands with her. Whether she gets one or she loses one, uh, she will change. And that means um, level 10, 9s and 8s are all the rare cards. And because all these can be got multiples of, they're just very good cards. And if any of these change hands either way, she will move uh, She will move town, which is kind of useful. Uh, so now... That the uh, now that that is done, we now need to uh, give her the uh, Chikibo card because that's what she needs next. If we um... oh no, she's not actually going to tell us. No, apparently not. Damn it! I have got to listen to this this again. Go away. No, I don't want to play with Central's rules either. That is a big mistake. Um, but yes, yeah, shall, we shall play her and we shall lose. Thank God for that. That was a misclick. Oh, the direct rule. Oh, God, she has the direct rule. Oh, Lord, that must mean Bam's probably got it. Oh, God. Right, we need to lose the Chikibo card to her. And... Because it's a direct rule, she has to take the Chikabo card. Uh, which arguably means actually we can actually win this game. It's just we can't lose. Well, actually, I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's just throw the bloody game. I'm not messing around with anything like that. Not worth it. Actually, no. I'll, I'll give the chocolate juice to Patrice. Oh my God, she's got to take the. She's got to take it with this. Oh my God. Please take the card, please take the card, please take the card, please take the card, please take the card. Thank you! And arguably, we can just play this sort of half normally, <laughs> in a way. It doesn't really matter what happens now. You can just play this however you so fancy. No good, sir. But yeah, these cards will change hands a bit here. But again, oh, we actually got a crease card. That's actually not so bad. If that gets transferred to Balam, I'm not going to be pleased. It also depends where she decides to run off to now. Hopefully she'll go back to delay. You going to run off? She's off to Gal Badia. That's not great shit. Yes! Without the power of safe states and some 15, 20 minutes later, we've got her getting to delay. Hurrah! That didn't take long at all. And not only about half of that was covered up with black screens. Well, before we go, 
Uh, we're going to quickly pop into uh, the junk shop here, because uh, we haven't been in the junk shop for a long time, actually. Every single one of school's weapons is now here, as you can see. Uh, a lot of these weapons, even the punishment there, but of course we've got line that's are okay. Uh, we haven't got any more weapons for Zell yet, we'll have to get that sorted out. Irvine has still been using his Valiant this whole time, and of course we have got the uh, magazines for his next two weapons, uh, the Ulysses, as well as the Bismarck, which we shall be grabbing. Yes. Lovely. Uh, Keisters, it's only got the slaying tail again. I'll have to look at trying to get some of these uh, better weapons put up. Uh, Renoa's got the Valkyrie at the moment, um, although we can't get the right, well, we could if we get, got a sword blade back again. But we can give her the Cardinal, which is pretty good. That's not too far from our ultimate weapon, actually. So that's pretty good with me. And Selfie's already got our ultimate weapon in the Strange Vision, so we don't need to touch that. And the basic thing, though, with that double hit, that basically doubles our sh effective strength, because every hit... No! Shadow, no! You were told, you prove, you were proven, 255 hit does not guarantee critical hits! What part of your mind doesn't understand this?! Ugh! Something is seriously wrong with me, folks. Right! Regardless... Uh, now that she has got hold of the Chicago card, and she's going to delay, we are going to follow her to delay. I could have taken the train, but then we wouldn't be able to get this, would we? So, uh, we're going to head off to delay again. I'm going to do it off-screen, and I'll, uh, meet you by the, uh, Queen of Cards. Uh, which one is going to go to delay is? It's through, it's it up here, isn't it? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get to the Queen of Cards off-screen, so I'll see you in a short Alright, so here we are back in delay, and uh, there is the Queen of Cards. Let's give her a little bit of a chat with her. Shows all around the world to monitor the various card rules, we don't really give a damn. Let's uh, see about the citizens. Some of the cards in his book, even now he paints them. Gave the Chikibo card he uh, she acquired uh, to um, her son, so we shall go around that a bit. And, yes. Oh, and a new chubby chocobo card. Uh, it's somewhere in Ballam Garden. I know exactly where that is, folks, anyways. And the next card she's after is Alexander's card, which I don't believe we have yet. Yeah, where exactly we get? I don't think we can get that yet. I think Alexander's card is a little further into the game. Not far further, but I think it's a little bit further into the game. We haven't got access to getting that yet. We shall do that soon. Um, and I'm inclined. Do we just, uh... Because this is where it gets a bit fiddly now, because of, um, the way this is, is that, technically speaking, we could give her the Alexander car while she's here, but then she needs to go away. And she would have to do something anyways. Ah, screw it, doesn't matter. Let's leave her there. She's it's not important to play her right now. Uh, let's go and actually get hold of the uh, Chikabo card again. Which involves speaking to our son. But no, I don't, we don't need to play uh, one of the ones, do we? Again, he's gonna coochie coochie coo the bottom of his feet. Good God Almighty, that is that is hardcore right there. Where is that? That's uh, that's just where we came from. We we'll have to have a look there. But, uh, I didn't give in to the coochie coochie coo on my neck. The artists have to fight for their creativity. Right. Yes, we do want to play cards again. Uh, how long are you going to take to play this card? And now he's playing with the one trading role. It's, like the, it's just like the Queen of Cards just changes randomly, that. I swear. Well, at least I don't have to play so defensive. It means I can play a bit more aggressive, uh, which is nice. Now, we're going to have a deer. We're going to have Cypher. Having Irvine, I want selfie, so what now? Kiros or, Z or Zell? We 
don't really have anyone with a huge up down strength that's going to be sailed. There it is. So we've just got to win. So I was going to say, if this, because if this was going to be under direct, well, this was going to be a, ooh, a, not a fun fight. Because you just got to play so defensive. Now the good news here is that we can take the Chica boat. That shouldn't be much of a problem. Because even if she, even if he uh, decides to play in the center, I can just play Cipher down the uh, up top left. We'll take the uh, Chica boat anyway. Did I say chubby Chica? Can't play that. It's all seven and up seven attacks, aren't they? Son. Well, we're not going to be able to win it by. Um, we're not going to be able to take the cheeky bow, so we have to just do it this way. Yeah, this should be okay. Lovely. Take it right back. Thank you very much. I thought I was going to be harder than that, to be quite honest. But uh, he, he made he made it reasonably easy. It was nice of him. Right. So now we've got the Chikabu card. One thing I'm curious about is what this prize. This is here. We know. I know exactly where that is. Curious to see what it is, though. That's back up here. That's uh, just outside the, uh, the bar. Right around here. I think it's actually around. I think it's actually near where they're standing. Come on, I know it's around here. Oh wait, we need to get the dog to help, don't we? Oh, it was up here. Eh, yeah, whatever. Something underneath. What is underneath? A mega potion this time. That's actually pretty good. I can up with that. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, so uh, with that done, the only thing we have left to do is to uh, get hold of the uh, chubby chocobo card. Oh, hello. Y you've been telling us that for two discs. Uh, the only thing left is to get hold of the chubby chocobo card. Uh, and that will be... Uh, what should we call it? That'll be... Yeah, that is actually in Ballon Garden, folks. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit of a trek back there to get back. So, um, I'll be in, in uh, Ballon Garden, but we'll get hold of the, uh, the chubby chocobo card. Alright, so here we are back in Ballam Garden, folks, on the uh, the hunt for the Chubby Chocobo. That sounds really strange, folks. Um, right, now the card is being held by someone who doesn't always actually appear, folks, so it's kind of annoying, but uh, we need to go right here. And with any luck, he will be there. Yes, this man right here to the left, I'm pretty sure he's the one. I think he's a bit happy after uh, killing a lot of Galbadians, folks. Yeah, it's just me, folks. But we need to challenge him to a game of cards! Yes, I am challenging you, sir. Well, there it is, folks. Uh, Strange portrait, as we said, and we're under the one rule. Is it the same change every bloody game we play, folks? But, uh, never mind. Right now, we could we'll play first. And we will play a deer down here. That's a defensive. What in God's name is that? What is that monstrosity? Shouldn't take too long. This 
<laughs> he didn't have anything to take the blob run. You suck. You really suck. Thank you. Shelby Chuckle is ours. And that is a really strange portrait. God only knows. God only knows. There it is, uh, what is that mod into, is that? I'm assuming it's not Gasol Greens again. There it is. Oh, Love of G's! Ah. Now, I do know what that actually is, folks. Uh, Love of G's, uh, they're actually used to raise um, compatibility with um, Guardian Forces, and they're actually pretty decent, so... Not too bad. Not too worried about getting it just yet, mind you, but uh, something to we'll keep in mind. Pieces. All right, so that is that, and as you can see, our uh, list is getting pretty full, folks. Uh, all sixes and sevens, and it's just a matter of getting hold of the. Uh, well, we've still got a few uh, special cards to get hold of here, which we're still getting. Although, still this one space sitting here, folks. Oh, I wonder what that could possibly be about. Eh, we won't touch on that just yet, folks. Not for now. I mean, that's all the cards we will be playing uh, for uh, the third edition of Card Captors <laughs> is going to be. Um, so, uh, what does that leave us? Well, I'm not 100% sure. The there is one more side quest I want to do uh, before we carry on with the uh, story, folks. I don't know whether we can actually complete it at this point with Balan Garden. Or if we need uh, another mode of transport to uh, allow us to finish it. I don't know yet. Um, so we shall... S I'll have a look at that and see if we uh, can't do that. Um, if we can't, then there is also something else I'm looking at doing. Uh, on a certain little island on Centra. And a certain uh, guardian force I'm I would like to grab hold of. I'm going to have to see if I can't grab hold of that um, as well. And then after that, whether I do either of those or none of them or whatever, after that, uh, we will be carrying back on with the actual story of the game, folks. I'm trying to find the, uh, the White Seed, uh, the White Seed ship, actually, for that matter, folks. So, uh, that is going to be all for Let's Play uh, Triple Triad. I've been a back shadow, and, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.